Okay, hi. Um, my, my name is Marina. If you're my Facebook friends, you already know that. And I think what I'm getting ready to do at this moment is introduce you all to my baby. Um, I'm very nervous. I'm very uncomfortable. It's not normally my nature to put myself out there like this, but over the last 10 years or so, it started to unfold for me and I started to realize that there are things that I care a lot about that are going on in the city I live, in the country I live. And I, most of my life, I thought that there were people who were experts and who cared as much or more than I did about those things. And I thought they were being taken care of. I thought the things that were happening that needed to change people's lives and make their lives better, I thought it was happening. And so I felt like it didn't matter how much time or energy I personally spent on it. I felt like my life was going well, the things that I wanted, I was able to pursue them and get them. And so I felt like I would leave those other things that I cared about to the experts. But as time passed, I realized that a lot of the things I thought were being handled, they were not being handled. People were still not happy, they were discontent. And things started happening in my life that sort of caused me to shake loose and wonder whether or not everything that could be being done was being done and those things that were happening were they the right things were they going to get people what they wanted were they going to get people what they needed and I started to question that um, I started to learn things about how the government worked about how the system worked about what made us better and what made us not as good what made us weaker and what made us stronger and I started to look at what really was being done and not only were the people who were supposed to benefit from those things not happy, I wasn't terribly happy either. Um, I'm not an arrogant person. I've never gone around thinking that I was especially anything smart or, or wise or intelligent. Um, but I knew that I cared a lot about the things that were happening and I decided that I wanted to do something. I finally maybe not finally, but I gradually realized that it was huge, it was overwhelming, there was a lot of work to be done, I couldn't do it by myself, and I didn't even know, like, how do you get people to care about something? And that's how I realized that I'm introducing people to my baby. Everybody wants someone to care about the things that they care about, and I think my greatest fear is that I will introduce my baby and no one will care about it. Um, I hope I'm wrong about that. I think I can survive that if that's true, but I do think people care about those things and I think people are ready to hear some new ideas about how to get there. Tomorrow's my birthday. I will be 50 years old and throughout the course of my posting videos to kind of share my baby with you and maybe even get your help sort of taking care of it, um, I'll share more of my story and how I got here and this is unfiltered so someone's actually calling me right now um, how I got here and how how I came to care about the things that I that I care about and how I got sort of the boldness and the the courage to put it out there and see what people would say and what they would hear um, or and what they what people would say and how they would respond and react to it um, that that's where I am so the things that I'll be talking about as uncomfortable as they are I'll be talking about families I'll be talking about politics I'll be talking about race relations um, my ideas and the things that I say will probably shock and trigger some people, but I hope that it'll be in a way that causes you to engage. If you want to call me names, you can call me names. I'm not sensitive about that. What I want is for anybody who cares as much about the issues that I care about as I do to tell me why or why not try something different. Why is it that the things that I'm suggesting are not going to work? you know and and engage me because all I really care about is that these problems get fixed all I really care about is that people start to feel empowered one way or the other as individuals and as groups to get and do the things that they want to be able to do and to accomplish what they want to be able to accomplish to grow into the people they want to grow into um, and so if I'm wrong about how that happens then let me know um, 
aside from that, um, you'll get to find out why I'm recording this video in my car in a city where I'm not really sure where I am in Southern California. Um, and it, the story kind of all weaves together because the place that I lived was how I came to realize how the system functioned or dysfunctioned to to put people in a situation that they didn't really know what they were in or how they got there, how to get out of it. Um, and it very much ties in together. It's almost kind of like a full circle of where I am today and why I feel like now is the time that I should do this. Now is the time that I should ask for people's help um, and, and see if I can get it. Um, I guess um, a little bit about myself and my background. Like I said, tomorrow is my birthday, so I, it's sort of a birthday resolution as opposed to a New Year's resolution. Um, I'm an empath, and an empath is a person, and this is super, super weird. An empath is a person who can really feel and experience the emotions of others. For most of my life, I thought everybody was like that, so I didn't think that it was a big deal that I was overly sensitive about the things that people were feeling and the hurts and the pains that they were experiencing just as a part of life. I figured it's a part of life. But over time, I realized people didn't. Everyone wasn't like that. Everybody didn't feel that. And so all of those special pains that I felt that were part of the pains of the world and the things that people were experiencing, um, they kind of started to burden me um, and it wasn't a burden that I think that everybody feels who doesn't have that particular ability if you want to call it that or is not just made up that way um, so when the world hurts particularly when the country hurts when the people right around me in my city hurt I hurt for them too but I hurt for them not in a sense of pity and in a sense of oh poor them but is there anything that I can do to actually make this better and to improve the situation um, and most of the time the answer honestly is no but I would like for the answer to become yes and so for those people who are experiencing family difficulties one of the things I'll be talking about is blended families and step families and people who are from broken families and how to stay or prevent from being disconnected from your children and the resentments that happen. Like I've experienced so many different things and it has really opened my eyes to a lot of the pains that a lot of people are carrying. I think I have what I call the ability to see perspectives, different perspectives from a lot of different people to be able to help someone else understand where another person is coming from so that sometimes it's not a matter of who's right or wrong if you don't understand someone else's experience then you're gonna you're gonna have a difficult time trying to negotiate a resolution and find peace in a certain situation like you know in divorce and child custody issues and things like that and sometimes understanding how a person reacted to a pain will change the level of of compassion and understanding that you have for them and maybe will allow you to do a little bit better job of trying to reach a compromise and an understanding. Um, it's going to visit upon the way that the court systems work and how it handles children and not everybody handles um, things in the same way. Not every court handles it in the same way but you know keeping your children out of the hands of a court judge is one of the most special and important things that you can do for your children if they're already suffering from a broken home. So I hope that people will be able to learn new ways how to avoid that hurt for their children. I want to see not just us as a community, meaning the black community, but as a society learn not to pass our pains and our hurts and our wounds on to our children. To not have them grow up feeling like they can't or they somehow have already been damaged to the point where their abilities to go where they want to go in life are limited. Um, and I want for those people who are creating an, a society and an environment where that's what happens, I want them to become less powerful. I want to make them the quiet, sort of irrelevant people, and I want those people who are making people strong and lifting them up to be the most powerful people in society. Um, 
I'm not sure what my first video is going to be about tomorrow, but tomorrow I'm actually going to hit a topic. So I'm hoping that everybody will give me a chance to say what I have to say, will hopefully work with me and give me a chance to do some of the things that I'm trying to do. Um, I hope that you will tell me what you think and see whether or not there's really something different that can be done that can make the world better, that can make people hurt less, um, that can make people more successful, that can make them more empowered. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm not the kind of person who normally likes to put myself out there. To be perfectly honest, I'm terrified and really uncomfortable to be in a situation where not only do people know my face, but my voice and my situations and my embarrassments and my shames. But I think it's important for people to know um, that I'm somebody that they can identify with and I truly do understand. And if they give me a chance, I will debate perspectives and try to get an understanding and try to help them have an understanding um, so that whatever they feel like is wrong, unjust, unfair, or just painful is something that they can get past. Um, and I'm going to be doing some of that with them because I have a lot that I'm dealing with right now. So it is the oddest time ever in life for me to be trying to do something like this. But um, pray for me. God help me. I will get through this and I will feel really good about having made a real difference somewhere, somehow. So um, I look forward to talking to you tomorrow and let's see what happens. I'll try to keep it short enough so that you can actually listen to it without having to pause, stop, come back. Um, so let's see what happens.